Bonjour à tous. Thank you, Francesco, for that introduction. You're always such a great uh, advocate for your community here in Vaughan. Uh, I want to thank uh, the many mayors who are here, who've been partners in helping us unlock housing. Mayor Stephen Del Duca, Mayor Frank Scarpitti, and Mayor David West. Thank you guys uh, for being part of this today. La uh, vice-première ministre et le ministre du Logement sont ici avec moi, uh, Christian and Sean. You, uh, vous avez travaillé très fort pour l'annonce d'aujourd'hui. Merci d'être ici. And we've got great representation from our caucus team as well. Uh, Minister Ng, Minister Hussein, who got us started on this important work on housing. Uh, Chad Collins, our National ha Caucus Housing Chair, who's been pushing for smart solutions, uh, and many of his recommendations are part of the plan we're announcing today, along with great members, Leah, Majid, Paul, Manny, Tony, uh, and uh, all parts of our great teams here. But I really want to kick it off uh, by thanking the workers behind me, uh, thanking uh, the folks who are stepping up uh, to be part of solving the housing crisis, for all that governments can and should be stepping up. The work you're doing, and especially the work you're going to be doing over the coming years, is going to be unbelievably important as you build not just homes uh, for Canadians, uh, but homes that you're going to be able to see yourselves living in as well. That's an important part of this, that it's not just about building, uh, building homes and uh, great buildings and apartments to rent. It's about making sure uh, that nurses, construction workers, teachers who work in a given city can also live in that given city. And that's, uh, that's something we're all gathered here today. I'm really excited about this announcement today because Canadians need homes they can afford. This is one of the most urgent issues that people are facing. Think about the couple who just had their first kid and don't know if they can afford to upgrade from their one-bedroom condo. Or the student who can pay tuition but can't afford the rent near campus or someone who can simply no longer afford housing in their community at all. It used to be that the deal was, if you worked hard at a good job, you could afford a home. That doesn't seem the case anymore. Younger generations are worried that they won't have a life that looks like how they grew up, like what their parents and grandparents had. Well, that's not fair. So we've been stepping up putting in the work, talking to Canadians, talking to housing experts, talking to builders, so that we could bring the right solutions that meet the moment. So today, we are releasing the most comprehensive and ambitious housing plan ever seen in Canada. It It builds on the sizable investments we've made over the years, and it goes a lot further. It's a plan to build housing, including for renters, on a scale not seen in generations. We're talking about almost 3.9 million homes by 2031. Whoa. It's a plan that, at its heart, is a commitment to affordability. Our goal is that no Canadian pays more than 30% of their income towards their home. It's also a plan to make sure that we don't leave the most vulnerable behind, that we keep building housing for people with low incomes, and that we take action to address homelessness so people never have to resort to living in a tent. And it's a Team Canada approach that provides incentives for provinces, territories, builders, and nonprofits to come on board. The math is simple. If we can increase housing supply, we can bring down prices. And we're going to need the know-how, abilities, and determination of workers like the ones here behind me today. I want to give another shout-out to the members of the Carpenters' Union. Jason, thank you for your leadership specifically. A lot of union workers are going to be part getting this done. You're going to be very, very busy. The construction industry will need reinforcements to get all this work done. So as part of our plan, we're going to be increasing support for workers in the skilled trades, creating apprenticeship opportunities for the next generation of workers, creating opportunities for young people, and investments to cut red tape for those with foreign credentials. In the cadre of our plan, we will support the workers of the construction to develop our main dœuvre and build le Canada. We've made a promise to Canadians that we were going to solve the housing crisis. So we rolled up our sleeves, and we got to work. No ideas were off the table. No stone was left unturned. 
I'll let Minister Fraser talk through the details, but this is a comprehensive and detailed plan. Sean, you and your team have been incredibly thorough in how you've brought this together. This isn't simple slogans. It's not some YouTube video filled with half-baked ideas and inaccuracies. This is a serious plan built after consultation with Canadians, with experts, with builders. It's a plan that's actually going to make a difference in the lives of Canadians. But it will also require provinces and territories to step up and meet the level of ambition that Canadians expect them to. No one order of government can do this on their own. We all have our own levers and our own responsibilities, and Canadians need each and every one of us to step up. In the plan we announce today, there are several measures that will encourage the provinces, the territories and the municipalities to collaborate with us to build more housing. The plan makes the projects rentable for the constructors so that the work can start faster and faster. We contribute to protect and to enlarge access to the cooperative et au logement abordable. On se concentre sur des nouvelles façons d'utiliser les terrains publics pour construire des logements et on propose plusieurs solutions innovatrices. On a besoin de solutions concrètes et c'est exactement ce qu'on présente aujourd'hui. Tout le monde mérite d'avoir un chez-soi abordable. On est tous d'accord là-dessus. Un logement, ça permet aux gens de commencer leur vie et de réussir. It's not right that housing prices have made cities and a lot of other places out of reach for young people, including millennials and Gen Z. Young people deserve the same freedoms, choices, and opportunities that their parents and grandparents had. We need to make sure we're building a future that is fair for every generation. Today's housing plan is about the next steps we're taking to do just that.